Hey friends, Andrew here. Welcome back to Drew Tutorial. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to authorize and deauthorize apps on Discord. Now, how do you do that? No, to authorize an app, it's super easy. All you have to do is just click on whichever server you want. Click the drop down towards the upper right hand side on the left hand side and go to app directory. Now you can find whichever app you want. So you can go ahead and choose, for example, something in social and you can say, for example, YouTube and you can click and add app. Once you go ahead and add app, you can choose, for example, a server if you want to do that. Here you can choose here you can choose, for example, a server if you want to do that. And you know, once you're satisfied, you're, you'll be able to go through the steps and authorize the app. So as you can see right here in the lower right hand side, it says authorize. I can click on that. And as you can see, it says go back to the server. So this is how you authorize an app. So basically, once you allow, once you add an app and go through the process, you'll be able to authorize an app. No, how do you deauthorize it? Steps slightly different. You want to go ahead and go to your home profile. As you can see, I'm in home. You can click on the Discord or whichever. Then on the left hand side as well, you can click on the user settings. Now from here, you want to go to where it says authorized apps. So you'll find all of those apps that you authorized, right? And I'm going to take this app as an example that I have. Now you can go ahead and find whichever app you have there in the list. And once you find an app, as you can see here, it says deauthorize. So for example, it shows that I have this app here and you can say deauthorized. Now, this is how you can easily go ahead and authorize and deauthorize app. So you want to ensure that you check that and you'll be able to find all of those apps that are authorized or you can easily follow the steps to deauthorize them by simply going into the authorized app section and you'll be able to find those apps. Keep in mind that if you also want to block an app, you can always go ahead and do so as well. So for example, if I want to, let's say I block this pro bot here, I can click the three dots and you can block it. As well, you can always go to those apps and you can go ahead and remove them if you want to remove them as well. But that's it guys, very easy and very simple.